Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another War of the Visions video. And with the Spine Sword coming out, I wanted to do a comparison between it and some of the other one-handed swords we had in the game to see some actual numbers to try and make a conclusion about should you go ahead and build that this week? Should you not build that this week? Like, is it actually any good? We're going to find out right now. Okay, so I wanted to do a setup first where I took King Mott as a tank, right? And I gave him a very, like, generic King Mott build. Phoenix, Esper, Brigandine armor, and I gave him, like, gear and espers that you would typically see on a King Mott. With that build, he ended up at 67 defense, which is a pretty significant amount. King Mott is going to be a guy who you run into a lot in that 50 plus defense range 50 to 75 something like that so with that setup that you see on the screen right now i tested three swords an assault nagnarok plus five a lazalia sword that's all the way leveled up and the new spine blade assault version again all of these swords max stats it's the perfect version of the weapon each time what you see on the screen here is the three different numbers that came up with that with like the damage numbers so this is Dwayne attacking Mott Dwayne is only equipping the sword that's the only thing he's putting on and he's using the skill magic infuse a skill that does L large damage and it's a skill that Dwayne will use a lot so with just the Nagnarok equip you see an 1170 damage with the Lazalia sword the damage goes down to 1134 now that's the trade-off you get with the Lazalia sword slightly less damage modifier on the slashing attack up and, but a lot more accuracy. You're barely losing any damage right there. Then the third thing in the bottom right is the Spine Sword. It is actually a almost 25% increase on the Lazalia Sword. So like, if I was looking at these three numbers right here, what can I deduce? Well, the first thing I would say is you should just use the Lazalia Sword instead of the Nagnarok, even if you're not an ice unit. Those numbers are virtually the same number. So I'm going to kind of consider them to be, you know, they're, they're in the same ballpark. So that 25% increase in damage from the Lazalia to the Spine Blade makes it significantly better than either of the two other swords. So for your Dwayne, if he's going to be attacking King Mont, I think the Spine Sword is going to be his best sword in that setup. Now, of course, I ran multiple different tests. So let's look at the second test next. This time, I went full-on defense with King Mont, right? Like, I gave him as much defense as I could manage. He has 107 defense when he's getting attacked here by Dwayne. I accomplished that by just giving him, like, the best defense Esper, Vision Card, Gear, and then I gave him Thancred's Heart of Stone buff for even more, 107 defense. So, with the Nagnarok, Dwayne was only doing 355 damage. With the Lazalia Sword, which again, I think they're very comparable, it drops by 10 to 345. Now, with the Spine Blade, you get 140%, 146% increase in damage, up to 848. That's obviously significant, but still sucks. Right, like 848 damage, Mott has 10,000 HP. Now, in this, this Mott only has 9,000 HP. It's a lot of... Uh, you're going to be chopping that tree down for a while before you get it all the way, you know, knocked over. So it's never really ideal to run physical hitters into 100 percent, you know, 107 defense tanks. However, what this tells us is this. The more defense a unit has, the better the spine sword is. A lot of you right now are like, wow, rocket scientist Orange Jay over here busting out the big brain. I yeah, I know. It's obvious. Um, what we've kind of seen and what chat, like what Ray Ray Senpai actually told me in chat is the break point for the defense pin on the spine sword being better than the slash attack up from the, from the other swords is in the 20 to 28 range. So the further you get like a basically above 30 defense, the more effective the spine sword gets and then reverse that the further you get like under 20 defense, the less effective it gets. We did set up a test for that too. And I'm going to put that on the screen in this test. I uh, used uh black rose Helena as the target and then Dwayne hitting her um so still using the same attacker now black rose helena is equipped like a normal black rose helena or at least like a 
standard Black Rose Helena build, right? She's got the magic coat on. She's rocking the Bahama Esper. It's a typical build. Um, with the Nagnarok, Dwayne is doing 2915. That's a pretty good amount of damage for only having a sword equipped. With the Lazalia sword, it does drop a little bit to 2832. So in this case, like the lower defense, the more, um, you know, the more that slash attack helps, that's still not much of a drop. And then the Spine Blade actually does 3.1% less damage than the Lazalia Sword at 2743. I want to point out here, that's at 6 defense. So at this point, like, the defense pin is barely doing anything, right? Like, I don't know, what's 20% of 6? Some mathematician tell me it's 1 point something. Um, you're barely getting any bonus, but it's not that much worse. So... If you want to run the Spine Sword to help Dwayne cut through the front line, cut through those 50, 60, 70 defense tanks, it's not really hurting him when he's hitting the other targets. It's a 3% drop in damage from the Lazalia Sword against a 6 defense target. Like, that's not bad. So, I think you can make the conclusion here that actually the Spine Blade is just generically going to be better on somebody like Dwayne than the Lazalia Sword is and you're getting pretty decent accuracy from the Spine Blade. It's not quite as much accuracy as you're getting from the Lazalia Sword, but either one of them is going to be a better option than the Nagnarok. So it is a good sword. It's a good sword, especially if you don't have a Nag uh, Lazalia Sword. Let's go to another test, though, because there's another type of weapon that we need to test out here, and that's the elemental weapons. So I brought Gilgamesh into the fray this time because he's an ice element unit and can use a plus five ice brand. That is something a lot of us just got either another one of or our first one is a plus five ice brand there is a 45 damage modifier on ice brand when you add the slash attack plus the elemental attack that's a big deal so i took gilgamesh i made a standard build for warrior of light he's rocking 66 defense right here right so that's in that like sweet spot range for the um uh for the spine blade right and in this situation the ice brand plus five from Kotetsu Gilgamesh, did 1775 damage to Warrior of Light. The Spine Blade only did 1503. So even though you're in like a good place for the Spine Blade to be effective, that massive damage modifier from the elemental damage up was still better. So the conclusion to make there is if you're running a unit that can use a plus five elemental weapon, like an ice brand, like the flame tongue, you're going to get more damage from that elemental weapon than you will get from the spine blade basically all the time. Maybe there's a scenario where like a 100% defense tank, the spine blade would be better, but at that point, just use mages anyway. Like, I don't know. You're not going to run into that very often. Engelbert EX is not a thing yet. That might be a game changer. So what are my ultimate conclusions here? What, what like, if I was going to put a bow on this, what would that bow look like? I would say if your one-headed sword unit user, good words, can use an elemental plus five weapon, that's what you want to go with. If not, then I think the spine blade is going to be your best choice. So should you build one? Yeah, I'd say so. Even if you have a Lazalia sword, I think having another sword with good accuracy on it that can do a lot of damage is going to be useful. Maybe you're doing some five-man PvE content and you don't have five elemental plus five swords. Spine Blade might be really good for you, and more accuracy is never a bad thing. So, I hope this video was helpful for some people. If you need a... Uh, if you need to know anything more, have any questions, just drop those in the comment. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.